What is up, people, and welcome back to some more Final Fantasy VII Remake. Last episode, we tried to stop the plate from falling, and unfortunately, we did not succeed. Now, we have lost our comrades, and we found ourselves here in the rubble. Yeah, let's get into it. How could this happen? I didn't really think that... Huh? When is help going to arrive? I said, where you going? Aerith's house. It's in the Sector 5 slums. And that's where Marlene is? Where we hope she is. Tell me she is. Give me something to hang on to. Even if she's not, I won't blame you for it, I swear. Who am I kidding? I'd probably try to tear your head off. Tifa, know anything about ancients? I know I've heard of them at least. They come up in planetology books. Meant to be the original stewards of the planet. Could even commune with it, talk to it and stuff. Makes sense. She can talk to flowers and spirits. Wanted her so badly. In my veins flows the blood of ancients. This planet is my birthright. <sighs> you have failed again, I see. It's nothing. Let's go. It just rubs it off so quickly. Wait. Over there. What the hell are they doing here? Their jobs, probably. Just focus on seeing Marlene again. Nothing else. You guys run into Jesse at the pillar? Yeah. Biggs, too. They were both in pretty Let bad me shape. Through, damn it. Let me but Wedge Don't wasn't up there with them. He got out. All right. Come on now. There's no need to be afraid. I've been thinking, y'all. We gotta go find the others. Huh? If we don't look for them, who will? Uh, right. Hey, Cloud. Gonna need your help with it, too. Right. This is Sector 5, right? So where is this place you said Marlene is? Where I think she is. It's a house on the other side of town. Well, come on then. Pick up the pace. I'm going as fast as you are. That's the house. Marlene! Marlene! Marlene, is she here? Barrett. <sighs> Sorry, I'm Barrett. Marlene's my little girl. Marlene, she's got short hair. She's cute as a button, with the heart of an angel. She was wearing, uh, pink. She was wearing a she's pink dress today. She's sleeping upstairs. 
Oh, cool. I said she's sleeping. I want to see her too. Come on, let's go look in on her. Keep it down. Don't wake her. I was not expecting to find her that easily. Marlene, my baby. Thank God. Shinra has my daughter now. I'm sorry. No, I'm the one who asked her to go get Marlene. We'd only just met, but she was so kind and helpful. I took advantage of her. It's not your fault. It was only a matter of time before she ended up back there. <sighs> Because she's an ancient. Is that it? So she told you about that. She must trust you all a great deal. Yes, Aerith is an ancient. Probably the last one living. She's not my daughter. Not by blood, I mean. If that's what you were wondering. Hmm. About 15 years ago. My husband, he'd been shipped off to fight on the front lines. But then I received a letter saying he'd be home for a bit. So when the day came, I went to the station to meet him. But, he didn't come. I couldn't help fearing the worst, even then. But I told myself his leave must have been postponed, that he'd been delayed. Every day I went, to wait and to pray. And that's how I met her, her and her mother. I thought maybe they'd run away from Wall Market, or that they were topsiders fallen on hard times. I'd seen that sort of thing a lot. Take Aerith somewhere safe. Those were her mother's dying words. My husband had been away for so long, and I was lonely. So I convinced myself the safest place for the girl was with me. It took no time at all for her to start feeling like family. She was a real chatterbox. She told me strange stories. Like how she and her mother had escaped from some sort of facility. And how she wasn't sad because her mother had just returned to their planet. Their planet, huh? Yeah, that sounds about right. <sighs> I didn't understand any of it at the time. When I asked if she meant one in the sky, she said no. This one, right here. I mean... What can you say to that? Mommy, don't be sad. That's what she said to me one day, out of the blue. So I asked her, what's wrong? A man you really, really loved just died. His heart came a long way to say goodbye. 
But he couldn't stay because he had to return to the planet. I didn't believe her, of course. And then, a few days later, I received a letter saying my husband had been killed in action. Things like that, she'd just know. It was a lot to deal with, but we were happy. <laughs> and then came the knock. Coming! <laughs> no! Go away! Aaron, you know you're not just any little girl. You're a descendant of the ancients. I had no idea what he meant, so I said, who are the ancients? They were the original stewards of the planet, whose boundless knowledge and wisdom shall guide us to the promised land. <clears throat> Some believe the promised land to be a myth, others an allegory of sorts. But we take the words of the scriptures at face value and believe it to be quite real. Which is why Shinra would like very much for Aerith to help You're us- You're wrong! I'm not an ancient! <sighs> but Aerith, even when you're all alone, don't you hear voices whispering secrets? No, never! <clears throat> but all three of us knew that wasn't true. That man knew exactly who Aerith was, where she'd come from, and what she could do. They knew where she was, but they didn't just take her? Doesn't sound like the Turks I know. She had to come willingly, otherwise it wouldn't work, they said. That's why, even if they did take her away, I'm sure she's still being treated like a guest. And that they'll send her straight back home, once they get what they need. I doubt it. You're not planning anything, are you? Don't make things worse than they already are. If I lost her, too, I don't know if I could... if I could ever... Just don't. Cloud, maybe she's right about this. Maybe they'll let Aerith go when it's all over. Maybe we'd be better off waiting a little while. Let's head back to Sector 7. Got things to take care of. Like checking up on the bar. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna win this fight. I promise. Okay, so he wants us to check up on the bar, he said. The main entrance to Sector 7 is buried under rubble now. So how are we supposed to get back inside? Underground passage in the park. Ah, uh, good plan. But how do we get to the park? I know another way to get there. Aerith showed me before. <laughs> this ancient girl knows her stuff. Didn't mean anything, but... First it was all like shaking. I don't know how we're gonna check on any bar if everything's freaking gone. Over there. here once again
piece of cake. Just move, move, move! Not so fast. Oh, yay. Give him hell. I'm gonna enjoy this. Let's be smart. I'm ending this. Don't overdo it. Okay, let's go. Oh, what, Tifa? How? Team. <laughs> Who would have thought? Huh?
Over there. <laughs> that way out. I'm almost afraid to go back. Tifa. Come on. Does it look like we can go this way? No. Dang. Wymer! You're alive! Still in one piece? Who else made it out? I wish I knew. Sorry. Oh, it's fine. I'm just glad you survived. Gives me hope for the others. Hmm. This is bad. <sighs> oh, hey. <Okay>. All right. on the other side. I'm not sure Barrett's gonna be able to handle it. Finally, I can use some fresh air. Damn. You can rest easy, folks. Listen, sector six is right over there. We just have to walk a little bit longer, that's all. A lot closer. It's not like we had a lot of money saved. Hello! Is there anyone out there that needs some help? <sighs> My God. Just a little more. <laughs> come on. Come on. <clears throat> it won't. Make room. Mara, you're alive. With me. Ready? <laughs> Great job, guys. Thank you. <laughs> I can't tell you how relieved I am to see you. So, what now? Don't know. Find something, anything to do. Been back to the bar yet? No. Maybe you should go take a look? <sighs> okay. First the bar, then the rest. Careful. The roads are a mess. Watch your step or you'll wind up in a hole. Hello! Anybody out there? If you can hear me, say something! Anybody out there? Hey! Hey! We're here to help! If you can hear me! Can you hear me? Anyone there? Hey! Hey! If you can hear me, 
Yeah, I didn't think there'd be anything left of it. Tifa. Wedge's cat. Uh oh. Let's follow it. Oh boy. Ready? One, two, three. I'm not sure if I'm ready. Kitty. Is this all that's left of Wedge's place? It's not letting me there it finally hey, goes. We're coming down. Took Stay it a right minute. Where you are. This place reeks of Shinra. Wedge? Wedge! What the hell? If a search scope appears when you are in control of Barrett, that means there is a destructible object nearby. Look around for target icons and press square to blast the marked obstacle and clear the way forward. Note that obstacles can be cannot be destroyed with a melee weapon equipped. If there's no path, you gotta make one. Huh. Alright, so. Okay, this is kind of cool. We got some solo Barrett action.
Oh, they're healing off me? Oh boy, that sucks. I gotta stagger them. Alright, there's one. Wait, what just happened? the heck is that? We better not have to fight that alone as Barret. Okay, cool. Hang on. I wasn't sure if that was going to give us anything or not. Just 
Oh, so you can get some stuff from them. Cool. There we go. That's what we wanted to see. Whoa. Hey, Tifa. Hey. You okay? To tell you the truth, not really. I think there's a nest around here somewhere. Can you take care of it? I got you. I'm afraid to ask, but did you just shoot your way in here? Well, yeah. Work, didn't it? <laughs> what else is he gonna do? Kind of fun just shooting everything up with Barrett. Can't lie. Whoa! 
Hang on, let's make sure. Can't shoot nothing over here. If I gotta climb another damn ladder. <laughs> Boy. All right, let's give him some thunder. He likes that. Hey man, you need to chill out. Alright, we almost got him staggered. There we go. Dang, that did not last as long as... That went by really quick. Sleeping soundly, dreaming about his gas. You're right. I don't know. I hope so. I didn't really get to get a good look of him because we got dropped so quickly. Bring in the heat. Yeah. Can't die here. Yeah. Yay, more bugs. Here we go. He's okay. You sure? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Making me worry like that. I'd kick your ass if you didn't look like shit. Freaking awesome cat. Awesome kitty. Okay, let's go. Yep, he 
gets you all right. <sighs> what is this? Whoa. Where's Cloud? What the hell is this? Why were they waiting so long to come out? There's so many of them. Come on. Cloud's gotta come and save us, right? Cause like... Well, she's over there kicking bu their butt, so maybe not. And there's more. Yeah. Of course there's more. You could? Like you even got a head. Okay, we gotta deal with this guy. Let me handle this. Stop it. Oh, well, oh we can't get up there. Alright, so we gotta shoot him with Barrett then. Stop it. What? Stop it! Oh boy. Is that a big one? It looks like he's big. Oh yeah, he's a big boy. God, that's a strong move. It's using its friends as weapons? It's using its friends as weapons. Uh, Seriously? What do we gotta do to close that duct? Um... Dang it. Alright, Tifa, uh, we gotta do something. Can't really do with it anything with her from this range. But I just healed! Uh, gotta destroy whatever that is first. Oh, 
Um, get that heart. And that healed it. It healed it. No. Crap. And now I have Cloud, so I can't even really figure out what he's weak to. I mean, obviously, he doesn't like the bullets, but... I didn't really realize I could fight with her here. Um, let's go ahead and get Barrett back up. We, we finally have our limit with him. Let's definitely target the heart. What do you? Did he, did he absorb one of the experiments? Uh. What? Got to stick it out till the end. A yell kills me. A yell freaking kills me. Why are they immune? Dang it. Oh my gosh, man. This is bullshit. Yeah. Bullshit. 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 He's healing off of their... Man. See, that jump is too ridiculous. I can't do anything against that. No. Oh, how did that hit me? You are whack, dude. Come on, Barrett. Let's kill it. Oh, jeez. Thanks, Cloud. You could have used it the whole fight, but you know, you got the cool enemy intro.
Oh God, were those... People? Yeah, that's the Shinra I know. We need to get him somewhere safe. Everything else can wait until after. Agreed. Let's go. <laughs> I want you to take Wedge back for me. I'm gonna look around for the others. He made it, didn't he? They could still be alive. I saw them both at the pillar. Jesse and Biggs. Saw how bad they were hurt. I'm sorry, but... Don't. They've returned to the planet. They... They were supposed to return to us. If we stop now, they'll never let us live it down. <clears throat> so, we carry that weight. I'm sorry. I truly am. We had no other place to go, and... I would never leave a wounded man out on the street. <clears throat> Elmira, I know what you said, but you have to let us go after Aerith. Not this again. We found an underground Shinra lab, where they've done human testing. This wasn't the first time, and it won't be the last. I know these people, and I know they're never gonna let Aerith go. She's the last living ancient on the planet. Think about what that means to Shinra scientists. Especially to that son of a bitch, Hojo. We're all just numbers and meat Enough! to him. But... <sighs> Please, I need some time to think. You've all had a long day. 
Why don't you go upstairs and get some rest? So I'm guessing, oh yeah, Tifa, there she is. Can't sleep? No. You too? I heard footsteps. Sorry, didn't mean to wake you. I'm a light sleeper. It's a soldier thing. <laughs> that flower you gave me the other night, that was from Aerith, wasn't it? Oh. <laughs> I knew there was something weird going on. You buying flowers? They symbolize reunion, believe it or not. I was curious, so I looked it up. I tried to keep it alive as long as I could. But now, it's dead and buried. <sighs> like the bar, our home. And everything else. <sighs> they took everything from us again. a waste of time that's not true <clears throat> thank you you've done more for us than we deserve I won't forget this if you ever need anything all you gotta do is holler Happy to help out, however I can. Elmira. I've been thinking about what you said. She's calling out to me. I can feel it. We all can. So please. She's our friend. We have to help her. I always knew it was coming. Knew that one day, I'd have to say goodbye to my baby girl. But not yet. <clears throat> Please, bring her back to me. <clears throat> Daddy! <gasps> Marlene. Are you going? I'm sorry, honey. 
I wish I didn't have to. I wish I could be with you all the time. I really do. But if I stay here, I can't fight out there. <laughs> Some bad people are trying to hurt the planet. And Daddy, Daddy and his friends are trying to stop those bad people. The slums, your friends, the whole planet. It's Daddy's job to protect it. Hmm? <sighs> and that's why I've got to go. You remember that nice girl who came to find you? Well, now we have to go find her. And when we bring her home, you need to say thank you, okay? Okay. That girl, she was kind of... <sighs> what? Nothing. You should help her. We will. Of course, a promise. <sighs> okay, you can go. <clears throat> Barrett. She's tougher than me. Time to get some payback. Don't forget why we're doing this. I know, I know. To rescue Aerith. So, how are we supposed to get topside? With everything that's happened, the trains still aren't running. Well, we could walk along the tracks. The city's on high alert. All the roads and public transit have probably been locked down by now. So what's the plan then? You know another way up? No, but I think I know someone who might. You mean Corneo? Hell yeah. Well, I think this is as good as time as any to go ahead and call it. If you made it this far, go ahead and smack the like button because it does help out greatly. And um, leave some comments down below. Let me know how you're feeling. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We got the rest of the story coming and we got Rebirth coming along once it's out. I'm super hyped for it. Anyway, my name is Draco and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Peace.